We're going to successfully show you how to connect a one gang, two gang and three gang switches to make them work as a three way, two way and one way respectively. Now to do that what we've got here is I'm going to show you the wiring of how I did this. Now each switch can have its own individual power supply or alternatively as I've done here you can loop the power using the L terminals. Now the L terminal is used for the power L1 represents the one button, L2 represents the middle button and L3 represents the right button if it's a three gang and then if it's a one gang it will have just L1 if it's two gang it will have L1 and L2 and the two-way terminal here is as you can see is looped from one to another to create the connection between the three switches now I have the power source coming into this switch which is looped to the other switches to keep to feed the power to make sure that all switches have power going into them but as I said they can all have their own individual power supplies now here I have included a switch live from an LED light going into L1 I have another one no I have no switch lives in here is left empty because this will be uh, an intermediary switch which is going to have one of them working as a three-way one of them working as a two-way and over here I have and the L1 terminal empty because that will also be used as a three-way because what happens is L1 of each switch will work together L2s will work together and L3 will work by itself because there is no corresponding L3 terminals. And you can see I have on the L2 here, I've put in, in the, a, a cable, a switch live from a halogen bulb just to show you that it can work with any type of light. Now, as you can see, right now, I have the lights working as a three way. And over here, I have it working as a two-way. I haven't put anything on here, this is just for demonstration purposes. Now in the case, in most cases they will be pre-synchronized but if they're not, what you need to do is press and hold the master button which will be the one that has the switch live cable until you get a flashing blue light as so and then press the corresponding button which will be this one. Now if that doesn't work what you need to do is unsynchronize this button here to do that, you press and hold it, you get the flashing blue light, you repress and hold it until you see the flashing blue light slow down and stop. So what that will do is allow you to repair it. So we get the flashing blue light, tap this button once, and as you can see, we've now got a two-way switch working here. Now, right now, this is working as a three-way. As you can see, I've un unpaired it, so what we need to do now is to unpair it again there we go get the master flashing blue and then just tap it once and there you go see that's how you do that and then again unpair the button as so Get the master light flashing again and tap it once and that's how you do that. Yeah. Any questions please give us a call and thank you for watching.